and she beat the fuck out of me. He held him at gunpoint, made him himself. She set up her and had a work base. So I'm like, oh, nigga, you want to have work base and shit. I got you. He thought he was going to come back. We was going to do makeup sex and all that shit. When it's a lot of things I don't understand, but I understand how to play my part. I'm a soldier, dirt and dig it hard. I just be hustling hard. When none of that shit cracking off, I got in the shower, came out. He was laying there naked. Like, he laid on his back like a bitch was going to do five-star massage or some shit. I <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, babe, I pulled out my motherfucking icy hot, started rubbing that shit in on him. I waited till that shit dried up a little bit. Y'all know them things when you got NASA flies, you know, the little sticky things you put up on the ceiling that come down or whatever. The fly ribbons and shit, I was on everything in the book. I started laying the motherfucking sticky things on his motherfucking ass and everything, back and off. Then next thing you know, started turning his ass up. Just started snatching that shit off, snatching it off, snatching it off, snatching it off. And didn't care, did not care. And thank you, girl, I'm a Sagittarius, you already know. Waxed his back his ass and everything he had Wait, me fucked no. up you asked his ass everything he was girl, laying there girl. he was laying there girl are you telling me you opened his piece up <laughs> yes i had this nigga asshole hot hot girl i say hot i mean hot about linking up, all this shit. Mind you, I literally live with him. I became friends with her behind his back and she had no idea I was dating him because he wouldn't post me nothing. The reason I did fight her and stuff, after the sleepover, I confronted her and I was like, yo, like we're together, all this stuff. And she told me she'd stop talking to him, but she kept talking to him. And then, I'm not even gonna lie, I was pregnant at the time and she beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> Hey yo, what the fuck? A couple days later, I invited her back over. And Whore? No, I'm saying. And I smashed her head off of the bathroom couch. God, wait, what? <laughs> Smashed her head off of the I rope. grabbed her hair and I smashed it. And my boyfriend was the one filming that video. Wait, wait, wait. So you smashed her head on mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. I don't have the original like fight video from when it first started, but she hit me first. Dang. So self defense. Yeah. Me and him got back together and all this stuff, and he started making songs and putting them out about how I like cut myself and stuff like that, and then we just broke up. She held him at gunpoint, made him himself. She was a fucking nurse. He literally turned gray, cut him down, and revived him three fucking times. My cousin's husband cheated. He got another man's wife pregnant. The man came and knocked on the door, told this woman with his very pregnant wife, we need to wait and see what the baby comes out, black or white. Obviously, my cousin's husband is black, and the lady is white with her white husband. Her husband was a veteran, so he was already on the mental floor a whole lot. Got some issues, you know? PTSD, all that crazy shit. Been known to try to kill himself. She held him at gunpoint, made him himself. She was a fucking a nurse. He literally turned gray, cut him down, and revived him three fucking times. Made him go back up and himself. Fucked up part. Nobody went to jail. Nothing happened legally. She called 911 the third time when they came. She was doing CPR, revived him. They thought he was just having another fucking crazy episode, right? Put him on the mental floor. The bitch tried to kill him, and they put him on the mental floor for like three weeks. She went to go visit him twice a week while he was coloring with the fucking crazy people for family day. And then here's a stabbing one because you mentioned the stabbing he cheated on her again he didn't learn he didn't learn from his near-death experiences <laughs> she caught him at a club she met him in the parking lot man handed her a fucking knife he said if you don't love me no more me then this bitch done smoked six before we got to the club a bottle of tequila you know tequila don't make you act right honey it, you don't act right on tequila nobody act right on tequila what she do the bitch grabs the knife from him him in the stomach and then stab him in his hand. Anybody know the hand right here? Got a main artery, right? Motherfucker started shooting blood everywhere. I had to throw him in my car. Mind you, I didn't do nothing, but he's in my front seat, blood shooting. Thankfully, it's the artery that is pumping blood from and not to. So he stayed alive. Here's the kicker. On the way to 
the hospital now. I'm driving like I'm the police, going through red lights, honking and everything. I got a fucking man dying. And this bitch in the back tried to kill him. Whole time, she calls her sister, explaining what happened. She's like, he's fucking bleeding out, blood's everywhere. She's like, well, where's the knife? She's not throwing it off the window. She was like, good girl, good girl. I'm already knowing what these bitches are thinking. This is now happening on Bluetooth or with my car speaker. They're having this conversation. This man's fucking bleeding everywhere. It is shooting out like a fountain. He's hearing this conversation. Black man just turning white. Look, if he don't make it, if he stops breathing, you know what to do. This is exactly what he's hearing it's all, as he's bleeding out. I'm looking at him. He's scared as fuck. I'm like, oh shit, I can't be involved in no murder. I will drop them off at the ER before I continue this trip. You know? <laughs> a few minutes before we get to the ER, she said, look, this was about to happen. She talked, she's talking to her husband. She's like, this was about to happen. I can take you to the ER. You can get saved or we can just keep fucking driving because if you tell them that I did this, you just go to fucking <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It was a whole I could cheat a moment. So we get to the hospital. I'm in the back room with these two, okay? The nurses are in there finding out what's going on. Doctors, what's going on? What happened? He told him he, he cut himself working on a car. Flywheel went straight into his head. That's what he told them. Smart man, smart man. They leave. This bitch leans over. She said, and if you change the story, I'm gonna come put something in your IV. Oh, shit. So then, again, he had learned his lesson. Third time running. This is a motherfucking baseball game now. We hit the third swing. Three strikes, you out. Cheats again. With the same chick A girl her. goes up to the house She's about to throw this chick in a trunk When I pull up, she done moved the jack to the side Old girl trying to lock up her house And shut the lights out like she's not home This crazy bitch trying to kidnap me Her husband pulls up I'm following them because they're chasing each other at this point In the vehicles I'm following them, I'm like, my cousin's about to die Or she gonna him, really she gonna hurt somebody in a car And plus I'm nosy as fuck, this shit is funny So I'm following them in my car <laughs> On these crazy bastards. We get to their house. They're fighting in their garage. A gas can tips over. This house looks to me went like this. I back the fuck up out the garage. Throws her cigarette in a fucking gas pedal. Her husband's was in the fucking gas. Baby, when I tell you fire makes a motherfucking sound, that shit really do say whoosh. <laughs> it sounded just like the fucking word said. I said, oh shit. Mind you, this is a gas fire. Ain't nothing you can do. He's patting it. He, when he patted it, motherfucking arm caught on fire. He wearing long johns. They had a pool. <laughs> it's winter when this shit went down. The pool got ice and he didn't get a fuck. The man jumped in the pool again. That shit said whoosh. Again, no, he did not go get health treatment. That was a dollar. Dollar Tree trip. We didn't even go to the Dollar General. We didn't even explore. You go to Walmart, baby. It was when everything was still a dollar at the Dollar Tree. We went there. He got his first aid. Need to say they're not married no more. There is not a fourth motherfucking story. <laughs> and that's it. Don't you? cheat. Don't cheat. These bitches crazy out of here. Don't cheat. <laughs> I don't know. I've been single, but y'all be faithful out there. You're going to die. <laughs>